Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. I've been really enjoying my little dip paintings recently, so I thought I would like to do another one of those. So I have got this lovely little six inch canvas, which again is absolutely perfect for trying things out on. And I thought that today I would like to do a kind of split half and half and do the top half. I'll put white down to start with and some of these lovely blue colours, blue topaz, this nice minty blue. Mainly white though, I want it to be really pale. And then I would like on the bottom half to make it really colourful and dot on lots of lovely bright colours and a few metallics. And then I thought that I would mix up a little pot with some silicone and this lovely kind of pistachio colour. It's just really lovely and light green and put a bit of silicone float roll in there as well and dot that on again just kind of the bottom half and so I think that it will make all those bright colours all kind of bubbly and maybe look like bits of leaves or something like that and then I'm hoping to kind of blend it up so that all those colours will smudge into the lighter sort of whites and blues uh, and make a nice sort of hazy um, kind of faded graduated kind of line but the bubbly bits just at the bottom. So I've got all these lovely colours out and we will see what happens. So here we are, I have put white on half of the canvas um, because this is going to be a kind of a sky area um, and then what I plan to do is do just my colours straight onto the canvas for the bottom uh, so I will get on with that. Um, for the bottom I thought it's okay for it to be a bit darker here so we have a bit of the dark green um, and I'll perhaps have a little bit at the top as well. Perhaps touch in the middle. Um, and for the kind of sky area where it's all going to smudge in a little bit, I'm going to put some of this lovely um, kind of minty blue green. This one's an artiste colour. I can't remember exactly what colour it is, but it's one of their pearl ones. And then this is the blue topaz that I always like. And I'll just sort of dot that here and there, just tiny little bits. And that will be kind of like clouds, maybe. And I have got pearl white, which is deco art, extreme sheen. And again, that will kind of make like clouds maybe. So the pearl white is really nice. And then a bit more green. I mean all these colours will need to run over the edge because I haven't got a base colour down here. But I'm going to put plenty of paint on this anyway. And then I'm going to smudge it all with my plastic. Deco Art 24 karat gold. I love that colour, you can't get too much of that, I don't think. In fact, I could have a tiny little bit kind of in the sky, because that's nice. Uh, 
and this one is Artiste Titanium Gold. Very subtle difference, this one, from the 24 karat gold, not nearly as yellow. Then this one is Payne's Grey. This one is the Pabio colour. And I do use this ever such a lot. It's like a navy blue. It is really nice. Just dot that on here and there. Here. Nice purple. This is a neon purple mixed with a Deco Art Extreme Sheen Lavender. This one is Liquitex uh, Fluorescent Pink, lovely and bright, I think that that will be quite nice. And I have got some red, I'm not overly keen on red, but I'm going to put just a tiny little bit. This is Deco Art. This is the Extreme Sheen Red. But I have to admit, it isn't really very shiny. It doesn't come out as metallic as I might like it to. This one is Deco Art Pink Tourmaline. which is reasonably shiny, but it isn't very metallic and vibrant. Yellow. I do like yellow. And that will go really well with these other colours that are here. Some Liquitex fluorescent orange. So there's definitely plenty of colours going on here. This one is Liquitex portrait pink. I've nearly ran out of this. I use it quite a lot and it is actually a very pretty colour. And then these are metallic. Um, this is a very light deco art. Um, it isn't the lavender, it's a different one, but much lighter, nice and shimmery. Just making sure that I go right over the edges. And then this one is a metallic rose pink. There, that's got all those colours on. I'm not going to put any white, I don't think, in there. Get my torch. 
because I've got plenty of white at the top. <laughs> So my next little thing to do is I have got this little pot with the nice avocado green, flow troll, water and a little bit of silicone. So I think that will be quite interesting because it should make, I'm hoping, little kind of leafy kind of bits. and kind of separate the colours a little bit. And I'm only going to put it really at the bottom of this. I'm not going to put it um, in the middle or the top because I want it to make all those colours look really interesting and pretty. And then I have also got a little bit of silicone and white. So, just put perhaps just through this area a bit just a little bit here and there so what I'm hoping is that where I put the silicone it will make some interesting little features and then the rest from the middle upwards will just kind of merge a little bit I did not have all that silicone in there. So I've got my plastic that I took off the canvas and I am going to plonk it on. And then I am going to smudge out this top section. I'm going to take that uh, so that it is horizontally smudged. I shall just tap this bottom area because I'm happy with what will happen with that. Just get those colours to interact with each other. And the middle section I'll just push up towards the top a little bit and then it should give a nice kind of faded um, graduated, blended, smudgy kind of thing. I could push it into that gold and everything, that's all fine. And then what I will do is I'm going to peel it back so that we don't get a centre dimple so that it should a little bit like you used to do with say a sardine tin I guess there so that has got that done So I am going to show you that and I'm going to let that settle, let that silicone work and get all the little bubbles and lacing. I'm not going to add a torch because I don't like really fat caterpillary cells and I will show you that in about 20 minutes or so. So here is this little six inch canvas. I haven't done anything at all to it. It's been about 20 minutes since I stopped filming and in that time all these little bits of paint have been able to react with the silicone and make some pretty little features. I like the green because I wanted it to be a kind of a gardeny flower theme so the silicone with the green I think works quite well and you can't see the silicone with the white quite so much a little bit but again that is fine um, and having the silicone just on the bottom half means that you have a different kind of feel to the top bit which blends into the white 
and it's more kind of smeary I guess rather than bubbly at the bottom but I'm not going to do anything to this I stared at it for a little while and thought I could take a stick through it and all that kind of thing but I think it's really interesting all those little bits uh, I just think for a little six inch canvas it'll be quite effective and I did make sure that all my edges looked nice as well all the way round So those were all looking pretty and just just those lovely little bits all those little cells in different colors so I will let you see that when it is dry and you can see what you think so bye for now so here is this little six inch canvas it is all dry now and it's looking very bright and colorful and I'm really pleased with how that has turned out. Um, you can see the metallic colours nicely with the gold, some of that lilac there. Um, the white pearl, you can just see glistening a little bit. Blue topaz and that nice kind of minty greeny blue colour. Frosted mint, that one's called, by Artiste. And those lovely bright colours at the top which are interesting the way that it's kind of smeared upwards and then the contrast from the bottom half where that silicone mixed in with the green and the white has just made those really nice fluffy little features so I do quite like that I haven't done that before and it was interesting to try And I've put it with my other little six inch canvases because you can get so much detail onto these but it also shows the difference between some of them that have the white in them at the bottom as well whereas this one that I've just done doesn't have any white in the bottom apart from that added silicone. So I will put a nice gloss varnish on that, like I have with this one and also this one, because I think that it will be really effective. And I think with a lovely little small space on a wall, I think that will look really nice. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.